Why does far red make plants stretch? We're going to use this Apogee Spectra Radiometer to tell you exactly why. We're now going to take a reading exactly the same, but under this leaf. Hopefully with that quick visual representation, it's much easier for you to understand why plants stretch much more under far red light. Why does far red make plants stretch? We're going to use this Apogee Spectra Radiometer to tell you exactly why. So we are just currently taking a baseline reading to show you what the normal spectrum is like of the sun above a leaf. So the spectrum's just popped up, uh, the full range of colours, blue, green and red, and you'll see between 700 and 780 is where the far red lies. We're now going to take a reading exactly the same, but under this leaf. We're now taking the reading in the shade underneath the leaf. You'll notice that the chlorophyll in the leaf will have absorbed a lot of the blue and the green light, or slightly less of the green, as that's why people also say the green penetrates more. But you'll notice that there is a lot of the far red left between 700 and 780 nanometers. This is far red, which triggers a shade avoidance response in the plants, making the plants want to stretch towards the sun to try and find more light so hopefully with that quick visual representation, it's much easier for you to understand why plants stretch much more under far red light.